IFA, Europe's premier tech extravaganza, has closed its doors for another year. Uh, in 2024, however, a subtle shift uh, was palpable in the air. The wearable tech sector, once a dominating force uh, at the Berlin event, seems to have taken a step back from the limelight. Yet, like hidden gems waiting to be discovered, a select few devices managed to break through the noise. As you can see, there's a 100 next to the IFA logo for the first time. That's because uh, this is an anniversary event. From its humble beginnings in 1924 as a showcase for radio technology, to its current status as a global stage for cutting edge innovations, IFA has been a constant witness to the relentless march of progress. Now, we do have a few no-shows in 2024. Apple is one of them, but that's no surprise. The company has not attended IFA for years now, preferring to hold its own launch events instead. Another name that was not there is Garmin. Just like in 2023, the company does not, well, did not have a presence uh, at the Berlin gathering. It seems it has decided to follow in Apple's uh, strategy of holding in-house events. Uh, to remind, the company debuted its Phoenix 8 line and Enduro 3 uh, in August. Uh, despite being underground, Huawei has not uh, shown us any new smartwatches at IFA. Uh, the company is uh, reportedly planning to hold its own uh, event for uh, the upcoming uh, smartwatch line. Uh, in this case, uh, it's scheduled for September the 19th and we're expecting the debut of Watch GT5 and maybe a pro version of the same. Interestingly, for the first time in recent years, Fitbit is not here. Well, it is in a sense. There's no big Fitbit stand like in the previous years and no big uh, Fitbit logo, but the company's existing range of devices is the displayed on the Google stand. Perhaps those rumors that we've uh, seen the last Fitbit watches are true. Technically, Zep Health should also be on the list of no-shows. However, the company held a press launch and demonstrated its new device uh, just a five-minute walk from the IFA venue on the opening day of the largest European tech gathering. This was clearly targeted to coincide with the big event. Um, that's why I'm including a Macefit T-Rex uh, 3 on this list. A continuation of the company's adventurous smartwatch range, this device takes things up a notch. Improvements include the design tweaks, a larger and brighter display, longer battery life, upgraded operating system, and a few new bits and pieces. So a nice upgrade over its predecessors. Look for my full hands-on review of the watch to land uh, in the days ahead. I must say the watch has impressed me in early testing with a beautiful uh, display and uh, GPS and heart rate uh, tracking that works well during exercise. Next up we have Withings, the French outfit uh, showcased BMO, a Star Trek-esque multiscope that allows users to perform a 4-in-1 health checkup of body temperature, heart and lung health in under a minute. The thing is not available for purchase just yet. I asked a representative on the Withings stand and he told me we can expect it uh, in Q1 2025. So there's still a bit more time before uh, the, uh, the launch, the, the public launch uh, uh, of the device. I also saw the launch of uh, ScanWatch Nova Brilliant uh, in Berlin. It houses the smarts of ScanWatch 2, but with a design reminiscent of ScanWatch Nova which means you get a titanium bezel, ultra durable sapphire glass, and an overall premium look. But this one comes packing a 39mm case size in gold and silver finishes, so it's something for those with smaller wrists. Withings also showcased some uh, other devices, such as the U-Scan uh, uh, toilet uh, accessory. That one has been around for more than a year now, and it's definitely on the list of devices that I would like to uh, test out uh, in the near future. Another new device in Berlin was the Honor Watch 5. It has a beautiful large 1.85 inch AMOLED display. Under the hood are pretty standard fitness and health tracking smarts, in addition to built-in GPS. Also worth a mention of offline storage for music, as well as the ability to take calls from a connected smartphone thanks to a built-in mic and speaker. And let's not forget the excellent 15-day battery life on a single charge. Just like last year, uh, smart rings uh, have had a strong showing uh, in Berlin. Uh, we have a range of devices from uh, various uh, brands, including uh, some uh, less well-known ones. Uh, to remind, uh, we got uh, for the first time uh, big smartwatch brands entering this uh, space like uh, Samsung and Zep Health. 
However, one device uh, that impressed me is uh, Rincon Gen 2. Uh, that one uh, is uh, currently being funded on Kickstarter and it's already managed to raise some 3.5 million uh, dollars with about a week to go in its campaign. This makes it the most uh, successful crowdfunded smart ring uh, ever, at least in terms of funds raised. I've actually re reviewed the device and you can find my video uh, on this channel. I found the uh, ring to be an excellent successor to the original. Uh, you now get uh, a much more discreet design, plus uh, battery life has nearly doubled, and the sensors have been upgraded for accuracy. Ultra Human was also in Berlin, probably showcasing its uh, Ring Air device. Nothing new from Fitbit in Berlin, uh, but Google did proudly display its Pixel Watch 3 range. The third generation is newish, uh, as it has debuted uh, less than a month ago, uh, and this was my first chance to see the new size offering. Unlike the predecessor versions, you now get to choose between a 41 and a 45 millimeter option. The overall design is very much along the lines of the predecessor devices, so not much new there. But you really need to see the 45 millimeter device in person to appreciate how much uh, bigger it is than the standard variant. Definitely something that is uh, more masculine looking and a better fit for those uh, with uh, larger wrists. Rounding off this list are Samsung wearables. Again, this is something that debuted a few weeks ago. Uh, on display in Berlin were the Galaxy Watch 7 and Watch 7 Ultra. Much has already been reported about them. The Galaxy Smart Ring is all, was also on show and it looks very similar to other such offerings. It really is difficult to uh, come up with something new that stands out from the pack with such a, a small uh, form factor. Smart rings are definitely all the rage at the moment, so expect a new entrance in the near, near future. Uh, some are even speculating we might see a smart ring from Apple uh, soon. Well, that's pretty much it for this year, folks. Uh, IFA has closed the, its doors on September the 9th, so uh, if you were hoping to attend it, you're a bit too late. Uh, however, the event will be back uh, next year in early September. Hope to see you at IFA 2025.